Hey guys, in this video, I'll teach us how to do chest dips for all levels, beginner to advanced. So chest dips are really good for working our chest, especially the lower chest. So beginner level would be uh, something like you using, um, if you're at home and you don't have much equipment, just a chair which has handles like this. Or if you have two bars, which you can have at either side of you, then you could use that. But you could use this or maybe two tables, something which can help you go down and come up. I'll use this chair. So we, we, we support our weight on a chair like that. You want to activate your lower chest by squeezing down, shoulders back, squeeze down, get onto that chair. Don't, don't droop those shoulders forward, nice and tight backwards. Then we're going to bend our knees slightly, keep our glutes tight. We're not sticking our glutes behind like this. Keep our glutes tight and we're going to descend, squeezing on that lower chest and then pushing up. So that we are bending at the knees and the elbows, as you can see, knees and elbows. And you want to squeeze as you go down, quick up. So you notice that I'm kind of um, inclined to slight angle. I'm not going like really straight like this, slightly inclined. So that I put that weight on the chest and then quick up. And then quick up. So if you find that you can do 10 to 12 reps, 10 to 12 reps using this kind of format. We want to make it a little bit harder and move on to our dip bars. So parallel dips, we have bars on either side as you can see, like this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to work on the negative of the motion. So the negative is when you're coming down. Positive is when you're pushing up. So we're going to work on the negative. And what we're going to do still, keep yourself nice and tight and then also slightly inclined. I'm going to go up onto the bar. I'm not straight like this. See my toes are pointing, pointing downwards. Everything is nice and tight. I'm going to incline myself slightly. So instead of that, incline slightly, squeeze downwards. So we call those jumping dips. So you jump up, inclined, squeeze down, drop. Jump up, inclined, squeeze your chest downwards. Don't shrug the shoulders as, as you're doing the dips. Something like this, don't shrug, because then there you're putting tension on your shoulders. It's harmful for injury purposes. So, one more, jump up, squeeze. Again, once you find that you can do a couple of these dips, maybe 10 to 12 reps, I like using 10 as a nice gauge to see if I, if I, if I need to progress. You want to progress by doing actual parallel bar chest dips. So. Jump up, go down, quick up. Body nice and tight, quick up. Quick up. So as you can see, we're now progressing. We can now support our weight in the air. Again, if you see that you can do 10 to 12 reps, you want to make it a little bit harder by applying a weight. So I'll, use, I'll do weighted dips. You can either have a bag, maybe with some books or weights inside, whatever it is to make, to put some weight on your body. Or if you have a belt like this, you can just apply a weight to your lower body. I'll just be using a plate. It can be a dumbbell. You basically just tie it round, hook it, engage it just like that locks nice and good and then you come back start with maybe a five kilo weight and same procedure you're going to engage nice and tight don't shrug the shoulders toes pointing down and that's it again 10 to 12 reps if you can do those really well without fatiguing you want to make the weight a little bit heavier and just keep progressing like that. If you like a structured workout program, which you can do anywhere you are, whether it's at home or at the gym, structured meaning that it's going to get you burning fat, building muscle, check out the link right below. All right, till next time, take care.